Hi, I'm Katie Lee from the set of The Kitchen. Now, one of the things I love the most about spring is all of the fresh and colorful produce that starts to appear at the farm stands and in grocery stores. You all know that I love my vegetables. And today, I'm using those spring veggies to make an easy dish perfect for a spring feast. This is my sugar snap pea and radish salad. Let's get started. I've already brought a pot of water up to a boil, seasoned it with some salt. That's really important because that's gonna help flavor our sugar snap peas. And I've got a big bowl of ice water here so that we can do a little blanch on those. That's gonna keep them nice and green. So you just start by taking a paring knife and trimming these sugar snap peas. You just wanna take the ends off. Some of them have more of a string in there in the back, but not all of them do. And they're really tender, so you don't have to worry about stringing them like you would green beans. So you just take those ends off and into the bowl. Sugar snap peas are one of my favorite things about spring vegetables because you can just eat them raw, have them in the fridge. And these are so good on a crudite platter as well. So it just adds a, a nice little refreshing touch. I really like these stir fried also. Just tastes like spring to me. Okay, I've got just one more left here. There we go, let's clean up. I always clean as I go. It makes it quicker at the end. Now these are gonna go into our boiling water. Again, we salted it so that they are nice and seasoned and they just need about one to two minutes. We're not looking to cook them here. We're just looking to take a little bit of the crispness out and just really lock in that bright green color to them. I'm just gonna take my spider here and kind of toss them around. They're looking good. And you can do this if you're making a broccoli salad. That's a great thing to do is to blanch it first. And these look great. All right, so this is a really good tool to have on hand. This, it's called a spider. You could also use a slotted spoon if you don't have one of these. Into the ice water bath. Just gets all of them out really quickly. If you like to deep fry, a spider comes in handy then as well. Look how bright green that water is. And you can cook some little macaroni in there too. And get a little, little green hue on it. Okay, so just shock those in the water. That's gonna stop the cooking process. And onto a paper towel line tray. And the paper towel is just gonna help absorb the extra water that's in there. Because if they're too wet, they're not gonna hold the dressing. And you want that vinaigrette to really stick to these. I'm gonna pick them out of my ice. There we go. Here we go, we got a few more. Let's steal one. Mmm, mmm. So crunchy and good. Let those dry. While they're drying, let's work on our radishes, okay? So I'm just using these little red radishes. You can use different shapes, different colors of radishes. They're great spring vegetable. I love the pepperiness of these. And these little round ones, they're a little less peppery than some of the other varieties, but they still have that good bite to them. So we're just gonna trim these up and I'll actually use my big knife for this. And then I like to do part of these in quarters and part of them sliced because I like the variety of texture to them. So years and years ago, this was like back in 2008, my first cookbook had just come out and I got to go on the Oprah show and I was losing my mind to get to be with Oprah. And she was putting up pictures from the cookbook on the big screen and she had this recipe up there and she loved it. So now whenever I make this recipe, I think about Oprah saying that. All right, I'm gonna slice these up, just a little thin slice. You can even leave some of these whole if you wanted. You could use some French breakfast radishes to give it a little something different. We've used on the kitchen purple ninja radishes, there's black radishes. There are really so many different varieties. Watermelon radishes would be beautiful in this as well. And they all have a slightly different flavor to them. So you can really play around with it and always have a different taste and texture. I really like to dip radishes actually just in salt. Butter and salt, that's a great way to eat a radish. I'll do that for a cocktail party. I'll just put out radishes. I leave the little green ends on them so they look nice and pretty with a little bowl of softened butter. 
and a bowl of salt. So pretty, I just love them. I'm gonna slice this last one. It's great. Okay, get rid of some of my radish tops. And now let's move on to our chives. So I also think of chives during the spring. They're a nice lighter flavor than an onion, but you still get that nice oniony flavor. And we're just gonna mince these up. They're beautiful, and you really find these a lot in the spring. This would be a great salad next to a piece of grilled fish or grilled chicken or on a buffet of all vegetable dishes. Once the veggies start coming in, I like a whole vegetable buffet. I am real happy with that. Okay, I'm just gonna put my chives right into my mixing bowl because they're all going in together. And my radishes are gonna go in here as well. And my sugar snap peas. So take these, let's just do this. This will be easier. Let's get all of those in there. I've still got a couple ice cubes in here I'm gonna pick around. <laughs> See how bright green they stayed from our blanching? The blanching's one of those steps that if you're in a hurry and you leave it out, it's okay, of course, but you can tell. It really does make a difference. Okay, let's make our dressing now. <clears throat> this is a really simple vinaigrette that you could use really on any salad. So what I like to do when I'm making a salad dressing is go three parts oil, one part acid. So for today's acid, we're using apple cider vinegar, but you could use lemon juice, white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, whatever you have. So three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And I always have on hand a really good extra virgin olive oil, and then an okay olive oil. I do my cooking in that okay olive oil because it doesn't need the flavor as much, but when you're serving it on a salad or on a drizzle, that's the time that you bring out the better stuff. And it doesn't have to be, you know, really good doesn't mean expensive. It just means one that you really like the taste of. And now I'm gonna put a tablespoon of that apple cider vinegar. And let's do a teaspoon of honey because those radishes, they love sweetness. I always put a little bit of honey into a salad dressing or a pinch of sugar. That was something my grandma always did. She used just regular white vinegar and she put a pinch of sugar in there. And I think she just used plain vegetable oil and her salad dressing was the best. Okay, we're gonna go for some salt. Put a good amount of salt in there half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, because it's the only thing that's gonna be seasoning up these vegetables. And some pepper. And then, I like making it in a jar, because all I have to do to get it emulsified is give it a shake. If you want, you could add a little mustard to this, some Dijon or some stone ground mustard could be good. It'll just make it a little bit spicier. And on to our salad. Now let's toss it together. Oh, this looks so good. I love the smell of vinegar. Mm. I'm one of those people that likes a lot of vinegar. So if I'm making a salad dressing just for me, sometimes I double up on the vinegar. But when I'm serving it to other people, I know not everybody's like me. Okay, this looks great. Now, if you were having a spring celebration, this would be so pretty on your table. Or just for a random Tuesday for lunch. Why not, right? Treat yourself. Here we go. Onto a plate. Oh, I'm so excited to eat this. Mm, 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 mm. I get a little bit of everything on here. Mmm, it's so crisp and refreshing. And those radishes have a nice little hit of pepper to them. The sugar snap peas are so sweet and you've got the onion of the chive. Delicious, I hope you make my easy sugar snap pea and radish salad for your spring feast.